I think anchovies in this right now would be amazing. Is that bad? Should I stop? Like, should I just like, just stop, just chill? I should just chill, right? I'm just gonna chill. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not doing it. Hi, I'm Melissa Clark. I am a food reporter for the New York Times and I have a brand new column called In the Pantry. Is it called In the Pantry or Out of the Pantry? Let's it's called In the Pantry. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, what is that column called? I just call it the pantry column. These recipes are things that I'm actually making for dinner. So I'm getting a sense of what people are cooking during this really stressful time. And I take that and then I merge it with the stuff I actually have in my own pantry because there's one thing I'm not doing. I'm not making an extra grocery trip. So I know I have a ton of tuna because didn't you buy a ton of tuna? I bought a lot of tuna and a lot of canned beans. And I remember Diana Henry had this recipe for tuna and white bean gratin, right? And a gratin is basically a casserole. In the original recipe, you have to cook the mixture in a skillet and then you have to put it in a blender and you have to puree it. And so that's like dirtying up a lot of dishes. So I was thinking, is there a simpler way that I could do it? Big question is, do I have to puree the white beans to get that same creaminess or can I just kind of like mash them up in the pan? Um, what do you think, Daniel? Great. Tuna casserole has to have a crunchy top, right? So do I use the potato chips that I have in the cupboard? What do y'all think? Potato chips. Potato chips? Vaughn, what do you think? Chips, right? All right, I'm gonna use my fancy chips. That means you're not gonna be able to eat the fancy chips, babe. Will you clap once? Y'all clap, I'm going to clap. Clapping's my favorite part. Is it okay if I ask my cameraman to like get me an onion, is that bad? So any allium, you're gonna need about a cup. Although, does anyone ever measure? Do you ever measure? You don't measure onions, right? You don't need to measure. Vine, can I put my onion goggles on? Because I'm gonna, otherwise I'll cry. Please do. I'm gonna be dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna cut the brown parts off. I'm sorry, garlic. I feel like I should have used you before. You're not, I can't be choosy. You know my cameraman's my husband, right? Like, Daniel, yeah, come sit down. Oh, come on. No, there's a reason you don't see me. <laughs> and I'm not gonna slice my fingers off because I'm gonna actually really watch what I'm doing. I actually have one of those silver gloves, like a mandolin glove. The onion goggles and the mandolin glove are just gonna <laughs> too much. If my daughter doesn't like what we're having for the pantry recipe, she will eat a hot dog. I, I think she's gonna be okay with me. I might not tell her that there's tuna in there. I might just say it's a white bean casserole, which is not a lie. I feel like this needs lemon zest. I feel like lemon zest would just make it brighter. I'm gonna get some fennel fronds and use those, right? But you can use, you could use whatever you have. You could use parsley, you could use cilantro, any green herb. You just want the green for freshness. Good time to take off the goggles, yeah. Are you just the feeling your bono? <laughs> Okay, regular glasses. <laughs> I would love to use tuna with olive oil. I don't know if I have it. You can tell by shaking it. It's like a, can you hear that? It's like a liquid, it sounds like water. Like olive oil is like slosh, slosh, slosh. That is nasty. There's just no point in adding nasty, right? And you know what I have? I have wine. Yeah, I'm just doing that. I'm adding wine instead of bean liquid because wine is always going to be better than bean liquid. Actually, you know what would be really good? If you could just have like a little chicken stock or vegetable broth, that would be excellent. You think we should have Dahlia mash the, um, ask Dahlia to come up and do the potato chips? She's slaying people with a diamond sword right now. She's slaying people with a diamond sword. She's doing Minecraft, but I think I can, if I give her some potato chips, I think I can get her to do it. I gotta, I gotta clean it so I know I can't stand it. Okay, you want me to pop again? Yes. Please. Are you videoing your shirt? Yes. <laughs> Good question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like way overhead. <laughs> smell that? Smells good. It smells good, right? Where was I? Greer cheese. It's a lot of garlic. It's a lot of garlic. I'm going to add more oil too. So now let's try. Did you get the spice for <laughs> I'm inordinately proud of my spice store. Did you preheat the oven or did you Oh, um, yeah, no, I forgot to preheat the oven. I'm going to preheat the oven now too. Thank you. Yeah. There's a lot going on, you know? Yeah. I would have I I at some point.
I am gonna say that that was half a cup and it is too late to measure, so. I think you could use other kinds of canned fish here. I think sardines would be amazing. I think anchovies in this right now would be amazing. I promised you tuna casserole and I'm gonna keep my promise. However, if you do end up doing it with anchovies, will you like just write in the comments how it came out and let me know? More mashed. What? More mashed. More mashed? I guess you saw it on the other camera, but can you see? Should I just bake the thing in the skillet? Right? It's like so, so much homey. Easier. It's so much easier. So much more. Daniel is the one who's gonna do the dishes later. He's like, yeah, just keep it in the skillet. It's so much easier. <laughs> I'm doing the dishes. Well, you're... This is not beautiful. Don't cut. This is ugly. Don't, don't cut. Mm. I need salt. You always have to taste as you go. tender stems. You don't just have to use the frond part. This is a definitely a more off-the-cuff cooking recipe developing style than I am used to, but I like it. This is an exercise in letting things go, which is going to be beneficial. I'm going to put my potato chips on top, the rest of the cheese, and I'm going to dot the top with little nuggets of butter. Shall we? So I think I will roast some asparagus and um, then a big green salad and that's it. And you know, we will open another bottle of wine because we have, that one is now gone. All right, Bamba, what do you think? Come take a look. The chips look delicious. What, they, what about everything else? Should we try it? See yeah, everything else. I do want that chip though. Nice. You want to try to cut the top? Want to eat the chips off the top? Really good. What do you think? Two thumbs up. Use some more chips. Could use, could use some more chips, she said. I actually kind of agree. It really is good. Um, there was tuna in it. I just want to be... There was what? <laughs> but you still like it, right? Yes. <laughs> I'm delusioned.